You need to be aware of dog. Sabadi. Sabadi. Back in Lao on the Mekong. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. We're back from our trip to Singapore, and that is the Embassy of Singapore. We're just passing on the right. So back in Laos, and we'll be running some errands today in Vientiane. Please join us as we take a drive around town, share with you some of our favorites as we run errands, and why we love the city and the country so much. All right, so we're smack dab in the middle of downtown Vientiane, just passing the Vientiane Center. And we're stopping to pick something up from Fon's niece, Didi. If you remember, if you saw the video from the Singapore trip, you would have seen Didi. So ready? We're in Sapantong. This is where you grew up? Yeah. In Sapantong? Yeah. And now they have coffee, Annabelle Cafe on the left side. Oh, yeah, here's Annabelle Cafe. The, the village office and the. That's a good cafe. Uh, temple, what Sapantong? You went to school around here? Yeah, in the temple. You just passed through. This is always a busy area. Yeah, all the busy a lot here. This is your old stopping grounds. Yeah. Where you used to spend your time when you were small. I want to stop stuck by something now. I'll stay here. In front of somebody's house. Yeah, you go ahead. Ba. เออมีมันกับกล้วยอ่ะเอาเอาซาวพันแล้วกันมีใบมีแต่ใบใหญ่ได้อืมเป็นแต่แซ่บเนาะน้ําพกไปเออจิ๋วนี่พวกมึงซ
just a regular ordinary neighborhood temple. You need to be aware of dog. There must be a temple dog around here somewhere. Walk back out on the street. So we got our goi bean, and we got our goi tod, and sweet potato tod. This is the goi bean, it's a grilled banana. And that lady makes pretty good grilled banana. The, the banana is a pretty good quality there. Got some sweet potato, fried sweet potato. This is pretty tasty. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's kind of sweet. Not really that sweet, but you can taste the sweet potato. And it's a little bit salty from the batter. That's good. I think I still like the uh, grilled <laughs> banana better though. Yeah, that's my favorite too. But I eat this one about deep fried banana and deep fried sweet potato. You mm -hmm. know, like a... This is a pretty common snack, right? You see yeah. a lot of these yeah. street vendors with a grilled banana. Yeah. How much was that? The uh, grape in um, the grape banana was ten thousand. This one is a two uh, two thousand kip each. Two thousand kip for each one of these yeah. grape bananas. Mm -hmm. If we buy fifty cent, we get five of them. Yeah, we pay ten thousand kip and get five grape bananas. And then the fried. Sweet potato and fried banana, how much was that? Same price, 10,000 kip for a bag. So 50 cents for a bag of snacks. That's pretty good. Oh, up on the right, this is one of the newer hospitals in town. This is Custom Reed. Same yeah, Casa Maria yeah. International yeah. Hospital. Casa Maria Hospital. And it's associated with a, with the Thai hospitals. And we're getting back to, is this Kampeng? Kampeng, yeah. Kampeng, Kampeng Road. Last one is some fried banana. Yeah, some fried banana. I'm not really a fan of the fried banana, but we'll try it and see. Yeah, I eat the banana has a good flavor. I just don't like all the uh, the batter on this one. Okay. It's good though. Okay, give to me if you don't like it. Mm -hmm. Is that good? All right, so we're gonna go look for Pat Tha Tha gas station and top up. Dem Thang. Dem Thang? Yeah, Dem Thang. Dem Thang means uh, full tank. Fill the tank. Yeah, full tank. Pops hotels are nice because they've always got a um, Amazon cafe located near them. So it's always a nice place to take a break if you're on a, on a road trip. 
Yeah, when we have road trip in Thailand, I always stop in water talk. You know, fill up one. You fill up the tank, you fill up, you know, have some drink and go some bathroom, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's a bit stop? Mm -hmm. Just one stop. Be one and be done, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, these parts of the stops normally have quite a few places just to take a break at when you need to. One and done. Stop one and done. Very easy. And how much was that? Was that about 20,000 kip per liter? 22 something. Oh, really? It's gone up. Yeah. So it's a bit more than a dollar a liter now. dollar a liter so it's close to four dollars a gallon yeah. for our friends back in the US I like the, the dollar and ten cent for gallon mm. but it's for four dollar four cent forty cent for a gallon I mean uh, one dollar and ten cent for liter it's about four forty a gallon yeah so I guess if you're in California it's not much different our friends in California. Yeah, California avoid the same price. Similar, yeah. Yeah. If you're not go fill up in Hollywood or uh, what is it called? Bubbly Hills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With the expensive or gas. Mm -hmm. Woodland Hill allowed that area is expensive gas. But if you fill up somewhere else, it should be okay. You know? All right, so we are finishing our day at a coffee shop alongside the Mekong River. You can see Thailand right across the way. You can see how low the river is this time of the year. They're doing a lot of construction along the river, so they're building a road and a walking path, which looks like it'll be nice. Got some restaurants there on the side. And we got some cows grazing down below Riverside. So this is just a nice relaxing place to stop and have a coffee. The name of this place is called Cough and Farm. It's a nice little coffee shop that they have situated with uh, urban vegetable garden and just nice areas for sitting and relaxing. So we like to come here every now and then. They've got a upper deck which you can go up and sit on. You can take a look at that here in a minute. So again, just a nice relaxing place, lots of green space. So you can come out here, pick a spot, get a coffee, and just relax and let the, the day go by. So as we finish our day here, I take a minute to reflect on our time in Laos, why we really appreciate this country and the slower pace of life. There is a huge draw to the way of life here and really kind of the way that it forces you to slow down and appreciate life live in the present and not get so caught up in the day-to-day -day. for my part i'll say that i still have to remind myself to slow down and live in the present it's easy especially for those of us from the west to get caught up in what seem to be urgent priorities, whether that's work, finance, politics, or the news. But here in Laos and the rest of Southeast Asia, that's a world away. And all I'm thinking about right now is my cup of coffee and taking in everything life has to offer. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.